How, how was your adjustment process? Because, I mean, we're, JJ and I were talking about this earlier, but you were 20 and 10 by your second year in the league, which is, which is not common, you know, to be in that place. Yeah, you know, I never really felt like I, I had a, an adjustment period when it comes to, to basketball in terms of learning, right? I know I had to learn the game, and the game has to slow down and all that, all that good stuff. But I always felt like, you know, I put the work in. I trusted my work. I was most of the time or 99% of the time, I'm always in shape. So I feel like that makes the game a lot easier to play. And, um, you know, I don't know. I, I live, sleep, eat, and breathe basketball. So all the, all the you know, ups and downs and, and, and challenges, I'm ready for them. Or, you know, I, I feel like I'm prepared for it. You know, this is what I do. This is all I know. So I never, like I said, I never really had to a, a big adjustment, more so off the court, outside of the, the facility was where I needed to adjust, you know, money, family, cars, uh, the girls, you know, whatever, everything. Um, all that stuff was more more so difficult for me than in in the gym. You didn't you didn't shoot really shoot threes as a rookie um, at all. Yeah, you you shot a few your second year at about thirty four percent. I I, I kind of did a composite of the last three years, including this year. Um, you're at forty percent at about three and a half attempts a game, and you're a player. Look, that's it's especially when you first came in the league that was known for your athleticism. Um, certainly for your dunk shots, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, when, when did <laughs> dunk you? Shots. Yeah, that's what I call them. When, when you don't dunk, that's what you that's what you call them. When when did you sort of realize that you had to expand your game to the three point line? Man, as soon as I stepped into the league, uh, you know, as soon as I stepped into the league, you know, I I, I felt it. You know, I felt the need. I, I saw the the game changing, you know, as I said, I live, sleep, eat and breathe basketball. Although I'm not necessarily working or wasn't working on shooting threes, I could see where the game was going in terms of attempts and just the the way the game was played. Um, I always knew I had nice touch um, and a good mid range jump shot. So I never thought, you know, I always had confidence in myself that I could shoot. So I just started to work on it and knew it was going to be necessary in terms of just me evolving, you know, um, I'm I'm six nine on a good day, you know, six ten with them shoes on, you know. So I'm I'm not a, a big guy. I'm not you know a burly you know big burly guy. So I just knew I needed this space and I needed some diversity in my game. And um, what better way to shoot, you know? What I mean, space the floor. Fundamentally, to develop that range, again, because you know you didn't shoot threes in college. College three point lines inside the NBA line. Um, did you have to change anything? in terms of your form, your balance, your lower body, or was it just a, simply a matter of, of getting the reps up? In terms of form, no. Reps, of course, you know, you know, a million, million, million reps. Just keep shooting, keep shooting. But in, in, in all the, the things I changed were my feet um, and my, my hands on my follow-through um, and in my shot. You know, sometimes I didn't entirely hold the ball, right? And, and sometimes I didn't. I would I would leave my shooting hand here instead of you know me and my and my coach CJ always tells me to shake hands with the ball right so when I'm done shooting my hand should should you know, you know, shake hands right or in a way right in a basketball way and then again um, more so with my feet learning whether I'm a hop jumper or I'm a one two guy and I felt like and what I figured out was is I'm both but in different in different areas of the court I'm better right so um, going right you know I'm better hopping and going left I'm better one two wing. Uh, I think, excuse me, the other way around, right? But right. that that's more so where I needed to figure out the game because I felt like the touch was there and, and, and I, you know, my, my depth perception was there. But it was just a matter of figuring out the small things. And, uh, you know, I'm still working on that now. So trying to sit, polish it out. You know, it, it, shooting is an everyday thing. Like today, I, I probably got, a, you know, however many shots again, but it's polishing. You got to say polish. See, I, I love hearing this. Because to me, as important as the reps are, as important as your form, when people think about form, they're, they're generally thinking about the upper body. But the footwork as a shooter is as important as anything else. And I, I mean, I was 15 years into my career and I was still working on different spots on the floor, knowing, hey, on this spot on the floor, I'm better left, right. Or on this spot on the floor, I'm better as a hop. So let me work on the other way. And it's, it's, it's literally a lifelong journey trying to figure that out. There's all, I just feel like with shooting, there's always room for improvement because shooting is such a rhythmic thing. It's mechanical. 
there's muscle memory involved. And so practicing all of those shots using different footwork um, was one of, to me, was one of the most important things that I learned very early. I, mean, I learned that in high school and I still did it and I still worked on it 15 years into my career. You know, another thing about you too is you you were like a you shot off the the dribble or off the run moving shots you know like you were you were really good at that i haven't i haven't even started to to get into that range yet. i'm just talking about like catch and shoot right you know or you know catching in rhythm or running into the shot out off of a drag so again there's a whole nother layer right of coming off of a screen and being being able to fire it right because i'm stationary but you were firing it while moving you know, having that little that little twerk or twitch, however you say it, to your shot, like that takes other, you know, more time and reps than, than people can account for uh, how easy you make it look or you make it look. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a lot of work, man. Some of us, some of us make it look easy. <laughs>